go even on that first point. The edge with the ser first serve pace goes with Taylor Fritz. It is a bomb of a serve, but Alex de Mina, that feeds right into one of his strengths, which is the return. Doesn't back away from the baseline, doesn't matter who he's playing. Taylor just sending his so ball over the baseline. Uh, uh, key for me. Ted is certainly the first serve of Taylor Fritz. If he can land a good percentage of first serves, back it up with that forehand. If he has to rely upon a second serve, we'll get to see the second delivery now. If they end up landing short, I think there'll be a problem for Taylor Fritz. Fifteen, fourteen. Game problem for Taylor Fritz. Yeah. Five sets. It's the, the long format that we play at the four slams. Certainly, it can lay the groundwork, the path to victory. If you break in the first game, that's a hard serve out wide. 13, 14. Fritz reaction. Mark, we made so much of Ash Barty being on her uh, round the world tour. Is, is it the same for Demon R? Has he not been able to go home? Well, he he's actually has a base over in Spain. Right. So he's used uh, Alicante as uh, yeah. where his parents have, have had a place for a number of years. And so instead of opting to fly back to Australia, which not too many of the Aussies are doing at this stage, is that the camp the Australians. Alex Demina, two A couple of the uh, Aussie fellas, John Millman and Jordan Thompson, they've been spending time in Alicante as well, unable to travel home at this stage. Fifteen. <laughs> I think for Fritz, he's got to try and force the action. If he gets caught in these elongated rallies, right. again, that balance probably lies in the favor of the men. wondering if the tactic for Alex is yeah. to land a lot of first serves tonight. So yeah. aware tactically that uh, if he provides too many opportunities with the second serve to Taylor Fritz, take advantage of it. His game is early returns are not bad here. Yeah. 
Yeah, and this is uh, the explosive nature. It's just a, a rally and generates plenty of pace on that forehand, just catching Fritz by surprise. Again, Demino. Demino leads well, two games to love. Two Listen. quick games on Taylor Fritz. Also mentioning, Ted, that Alex defending those fourth round quarterfinal points from last year, but I also have to point out that he actually had to withdraw from representing Australia at the Olympic Games. He picked up oh. COVID. And that was a major blow for him to not be able to wear the, the green and gold colours of Australia at the Olympic Games. Even though he went through the protocols and isolation, to, perhaps that's also just hindered some of his efforts. There's David Nakin, yep. USTA High Performance Director. David and uh, Paul Anacone, who's back in California at home, they've had some good work with Fritz just prior to the Open at the uh, Southern California training base. That's it, David. Nothing you hear about Taylor Fritz is uh, work, work's not a problem for him. Yep. Dedicated, fit, all oh, that's fine. Thirty. Oh. Yeah, he's no doubt. Uh, ecstatic that he's overcome this issue that he had with his knee also has a an occasional oh. problem with a foot or an ankle that sometimes hinders his movement around the baseline Trying to uh, a little bit like Shapovalov earlier today on this very court, who had a most impressive win after a post Wimbledon that hadn't been impressive. Right. Just it. played that away and came out and played a very sharp match today. That's something what like what Demonar is trying to do. Well, I think if if and Alex, the COVID on top of it, yeah. right? If and if if Alex finds that Taylor's oh. serve is not operating just like Del Bonas. His percentages were quite low uh, in that match, I believe, for Federico Del Bonas today. Just wasn't landing any first serves. Is that, again, the, the ability of Alex just to get the ball back into play and gets it deep enough, pushes Fritz onto the back foot. Welcome to see mm -hmm. Taylor Fritz on the back foot as opposed yes. to the front foot. Well, he's put six out of seven first serves in to start this match. Ah. So again. 30, 15. If that's the tactic, it's, would you say, a smart one? Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I think that's much more uh, advisable for Alex. Doesn't want to expose the second serve for both players actually that maybe their Achilles heel is that second serve.
Fourteen fifteen. It's a, a quality mm -hmm. second delivery close to the service line. to pick up there one of the longer rallies that he has come out on the winning end Games to one. Well, you'd say Go it's set. a good start. You would also, Mark, picking up on your point, maybe say a smart start for Demonor. A tactic here. He's put eight of 11 first serves in play. And has won eight of 11 service points. Yeah, brings me back to the, the first round match yesterday. Andre Rublev against Ivo Karlovic. And Rublev was very disciplined with his approach on the serve, landing. 80, 85% of first serves into play. So he's not exposing the big man, the tall Croatian, to attack the second serve. a little concerned with those reactions from his player but the other part about Taylor Fritz seeing him come out here with nothing on the knees at all right no rat, yes no, no, no rat. <laughs> he had the uh, dark colored leg sleeve on at Wimbledon that had to be approved a medical exemption that he got from the all England club I, I must admit the first time I saw Taylor at Wimbledon wearing that sleeve and I because there was a bit of controversy with the courts being so greasy, lush in the first few rounds and plenty of players were slipping. So I immediately thought, oh my goodness, he's already taken a tumble and he's having to, trainers come out and strapped him up. I, I was unaware at the time that he'd had surgery. There was some fairly uh, discussions within the team Fritz about whether he should go play with him that fast after the injury of Roland Garros and then the procedure and he was just adamant he wanted to play right I don't know I think I might have aired on the side of the, the team there led by David Nankin that's old Another tough game here for Taylor. Really having to work on his service games. Fitting for Fritz. 
two solid games, but still that quick break has the lead for Demon Hall. Three games to two, first set. Feel the incredible electricity. Oh. Late in the afternoon, Maxime Cressy took out semi-finalist from last year, Carreño Busta. Very aggressively. He's very happy to see the uh, t taking the initiative and playing proactive tennis. Oh. I knew you would like that. <laughs> but it was a group of two, us. Two words that, or three words that go together: serve and volley. It was, Whoa! It, it was very good to see. It. just taking the pace off of that backhand. You can see how low it uh, comes off the court. And Taylor just hovering around on that uh, backhand side of the court. That's where he loves to play his tennis, tries to mount his attack. And Domina responding with his two-hander, threading it up the line. Obvious, it's low hanging fruit, Mark. Do you know how? With current state like Demon R and Leighton Hewitt, do they connect? Are they, is Leighton any, any sort of well, advisor think, to him? Yeah, Leighton is, is an advisor to the, the Demon R camp mm -hmm. and unable to travel at the moment. Leighton, again, the protocols that uh, are in place in Australia. He actually enjoys coming to net. I think it uh, surprises a number of people when they watch him play. They know how quick he is around the baseline, dynamic. But he loves moving forward, tries to finish the point. Let's look at those eyes. The racket yeah. is out in front, ready to just try and reflex it back. And winning the point like that, you get that reaction. It's, yeah. it's almost worth double the points. Right, exactly. And I'm laughing because you just you just answered my next question, which is going to be, what's the biggest difference between Demon R and Hewitt? <laughs> you just answered. <laughs> well, maybe that's, you know, Leighton's influence as well. So, you know, just to, trying to encourage yeah. him that you can finish some points up there as well. Also seeing the first time the Demon is not putting first serves in the game. It's just peppering the Demon off forehand. The uh, spirits back in the New York crowd. Three games uh, all. Fritz player box. First set. Hopefully within Fritz. <laughs> Three all. Yeah, sitting the, at the third highest ranked American. She said Teddy's rankings just taken a, a, a drop. It sits at 42 on the rankings. Third highest ranked of the Americans. 
14 players inside the top 100 right now for Alex started the match off. He was like lightning. As soon as the, the gates opened, the barriers, he sprinted out and uh, was on fire. Just kind of gone into a bit of a, a shell, but still on that point, perhaps losing his serve was a, enough of a alarm bells or a kick in the backside that he, he's got to play proactive tennis. He can't just sit back and allow Taylor to orchestrate. He's not struck with a lot of rotation. You can see that he's stepping in with that front foot. My shoulder turn and the way the courts are playing. Players are commenting that the courts are quick this year. Just hitting the, yeah, the surface at, at night time as well. Just has that sheen on it and maybe shooting through more so than the day. Game plan of Taylor Fritz. It's just to hit into the corners. came back from behind to win the third set. But she's up two sets to one. Love it. Result at Newport on the grass. And up, uh, it's a result in the subsequent tournaments on hard court as well. And uh, I was trying to take a look at his match against Ema. Certainly was in charge there. Fritz kind of obligated to come forward there. It was a short ball, but no angle for the Aussie to use. And, uh, standing at love 30 here on to Menard's serve. Second serve, just landing midway in the service box. So it's a healthy return strike, that 
Fritz can put on the ball. Yeah, and those numbers, not good for the number 14 seed. Tied into the corner again. You can see how the ball reacts off of the surface. Taylor's almost lunging at the passing shot. Oh. Just had to clear the net, and I think that was going to be passed to Minas. He seemed to be drifting over to the backhand court. Still a great opportunity for the American. Love 40, it's, it's almost like it's activated or reactivated that ability to play proactive tennis. He's come to net a, a couple of times to save break points, but like he just got a little passive after picking up the initial service break. Alex looked like he was also trying to hit that backhand and maybe follow yes. the ball yeah. into the net. It turned out to be a bit of a blessing. So Adolfo Cateras sitting in the front row. Long time advisor for Alex. Well, that takes a little turn. Five straight points for Demon R. Four games on. First set. Taylor Fritz has an interesting service game for all. This is my uh, my theory is I often do lean on similarities to baseball. This is like you just had two batters strike out with the bases loaded to and you leave the bases loaded. Yep. Now you have to go back out and pitch the next inning. How often do you, you can't shake off the disappointment? Uh -huh. oh. That's where Fritz is right now. Oh. You're not 15. Let's go to the double. Yeah, it's hard to put aside that the love 40. Yeah. Right. One of those break opportunities. He was in the rally, had a, 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 well, a, a middle forehand didn't do enough with it oh. you just got to remind yourself to stay in the moment it's a handy response there 127 mile per hour first serve so where everybody wants to have their hangover ready. That's, <laughs> that's what i used to i tried to call it it's almost like a hangover for you. so peeved that you didn't cash in 
at least focus on holding your own seat. They'll have metrics that are analytics that will track that. What's the percentage of times a player drops serve after the scenario, after love 40 and break? And just how it compares to the normal break percentage. Yeah. I would think it's higher, personally. I have no data. of the world it's that ability to chase the ball down and uh, would have expected uh, just a, a loose or a, a, he'd lose the weight of shot lose the length of shot as well he's able to still get the ball back into play and Taylor for instance, is the one to make the mistake Miles' coverage right now for uh, <laughs> would almost be double than uh, Taylor Fritz. He's taking route around that baseline. Demino is moving from one side of the court to the other. Let's... This is where the big server would love to have an ace. Interesting is Diminar's not deep on his return. Oh, he's sitting right on that baseline. Oh. 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 capability of oh. Taylor Fritz. Yes. What better time to be shining? Just a flick of the, the wrist. That right hand bringing the racket head through. Just being able to roll it and deceive the men up. enjoys playing against because Taylor has that ability off of forehand and backhand to just give the ball a heavy strike. There's, there's no opening or breathing space.
Stepping up to the plate there on that point. Was aware that his approach shot was probably having a, a re defensive response from Fritz. So you know, comes forward. This is the area, the second serve that Alex has been struggling over the last few service games. That second serve. And it's interesting, Mark, another one of these things that I can't explain because what you say is commonly known. You want to try to attack Demonar's second serve. On the ATP Tour this year, Demonar is 16th in second serve points one. It's right where his rank is. Right. It's yeah. pretty good. It is. <laughs> oh! But just not right now is the time to be exposing your second serve. Let's see where Fritz's shot is not bad. Like it's it's lacking position, but certainly Dimana stepping into the ball, taking it on the rise. And it's a bit of backhand by Fritz, wasn't it? Heavy into the corner, had pace and yes. position. Close to the baseline, close to the sideline, and that provides a lot of time to set up for the forehand. from it, but after First players had looks that didn't cash in, tiebreak seems fitting, doesn't it? Would be nice, certainly for the fans. I think they would uh, raise that level of excitement. Forehand, perhaps just doesn't close down. You can see that he was mid court, and he only gets a couple of steps in for the volley. 
little slow to react, but bounces back with a, a first serve. Third ace. but I'm happy to see him at least take that chance to come forward. Maybe he saw that the Australian was deep behind the baseline. Got in a little closer to the net. And a, a soft pair of hands on that drop volley. Executed with a of relief, I'm sure. Net points. The bulk ace numbers. Just again, as the Americans is there, even Opelka, they have more sheer sure. aces, but yeah. his first serve numbers, everyone else about his first serve is, is copper. Maybe he has the pace, can match it with those fellas as far as pace, right. but just not able to execute, find those corners. Some nice holds here down the stretch of the first set. And we'll be back in a moment to see if Demon Art can get us to a tie. And fold. light or the license now for Taylor Fritz to just maybe put a bit more pressure go for a few more shots it's got nothing to lose if it goes down in this game he still has the tiebreaker Tiebreak fitting. close to the same number of matches this year. These two, Fritz has played more than twice as many tiebreaks. Yeah, he's 13 and 11 in tiebreakers this year. Maybe not unusual to see that, that Taylor, 
reliant upon those tiebreakers. Great. Alex de Minar is. But still in that positive column when he does go to uh, tiebreakers. Jam Michael Gamble. Why, why do I feel like there are more Spaniards coaching than any other nationality? Hence is part of his well, David Mankin, who's South African. But you know, Menard has, as you said, has always had a kind of a split base between Australia yeah. and Spain. Mother right. Spanish. Right. Holds his serves and Prince. it's four one. And there's perhaps a, for me, a, a, a difference, an advantage for Taylor if he can keep these points short, very concise, and none more important than the tiebreaker. Has a little buffer now, four one. He can just sneak one of these points. For two threats. This has the feel, this could be a long one. It just has a vibe working for me. Just even having a look at the change of ends. Like to say that Taylor's just looking a little more fresh. I haven't seen him change his shirt. It's not as drenched as uh, Deminas. Looks like it, after this set, he'd have to go and change his kit. Paul Anacone, who we referenced, who does some commentary and I work with quite a bit. Terrific yeah. coach and Paul Rage about the physio. Fritz. Fritz works with uh, This is. Well, everything you just said, Mark, right. would be the credit to the work that the physio has done with Taylor. Yeah, all the hard work is done. That you, you try to build the player up uh, so that they peak prime times. And obviously, oh. this is a key one for the Americans, a US Open. It's a pretty good defensive forehand by Taylor Fritz, but the backhand just top shelf. Well, Demonor gets one point back. Now this becomes a significant point for Fritz. Right. Well, again, it's not necessarily the ace count, but for the service winner. Six three. And now three set points. This would be the first set for Fritz in, in their head-to-head. -head. Hasn't won a yeah. set in the three 
matches they've played. All on hard court. One of them was that next gen with the funky score. Fritz. Two summers ago. And in the Federer Open at Basel. <laughs> I think you should just call him. Right. We all know what it is. <laughs> That's, uh, you, you know, there's a lot of credit going to Taylor Fritz to just fight back in. Set number one. Yeah. 22 points, yeah. long yeah. points in that first set. Demon R won 13, which to me, if I'm Taylor Fritz's side, I'm saying that's okay. If my guy won nine out of the 22, he's hanging in. Yeah, exactly. Serve, just in the middle of the box. It's not close to any of the, the lines. Sits up and it really allows for Taylor to take control of the point from the return. with a loose service game. Demon Bar folded with the same. Yeah. In the second set. Only put one first serve. Forehand as well, thanks to the first serve deserting Alex de Minna. Second serve just flirting with the middle of the box. So he's done the hard work now. The American worked his way back into the first set, taking that first set and initiating a break. Now is that little extra hard work to try and consolidate the break scoreboard would be looking very bright for him if it's seven six and two love
would favor Dean Doyle. Right. Just brilliant play by Taylor. Alex, half volley, off the backhand side. The angle created by the American. There, I think that, that might be a telling story in this match, Ted. The ability of Taylor to strike winners. winners yeah. Yeah. That's significant edge right now, I think. After a first set that was 7 6, yeah. nine more winners. Yeah. Their account is somewhat similar for, for both of them. Again, it's those, uh, the ability of Taylor, not just behind the first serve, but it comes with a heavy artillery of forehand and backhand. landed the first serve and still went took the foot on the accelerator with that forehand just missed but good storyline for Taylor Yes. Well, what started out as a, a clean service game, out to 40 love. Coach's nightmare. <laughs> David Pink in there. Plus, to Taylor's back to juice. He does back up the break. Great slates. Two games to love. Second set. And having a lot of success, it, it seems, starting to get some information through as well that uh, when Fritz is landing that first serve over to the Australian's backhand, that the response, the return of serve from Minar is landing oh. shorter in the court and allowing Taylor to get around and hit that yeah. forehand. Fifteen. So what would be the demon or counter? Well, maybe we've seen him standing so close. It, it, uh, 
Yeah. He stubbornly, That's what I'm annoyingly, is yeah. close. Yeah. He, he decides at some stage that uh, if, if Alex recognises that perhaps he's not getting the depth on the return to maybe go back a few steps just so that he can sight the surf more a little longer. Let's more paying dividends for the men up. Demonor than he did in the first five, let's say, five games. Yeah, it, it's like he's having these flashes of yeah. spurts. Not able to really maintain that that level for a consistent game or more. Yes. Once more, set up. With the return of serve, he's able to control the flow of the point early. You can see the half volley from Alex. And it's the forehand doing the damage for Taylor Fritz. Two service games in this set for Demon Hart. He's not putting firsts in. Just four of 11. Yes. So deep. And you're seeing Dimonor just basically picking them up. And it's talking about right there, just having to do that. We go straight into yeah. defense. Right. And even though he anticipates that drop shot, it's in it to response nicely by Fritz there. Just digging the ball, directing it up the line. I'm thinking of how we started serving in this match, uh, uh, Alex. It didn't seem like he was trying to redline his serve. He was lowering the pace, getting a good percentage, healthy percentage of first serves in. It's, it's almost like he's lost his way with that serve. The rhythms disappeared, and again, we, we see a second serve. <laughs>
much of the crowd to their feet. They're not standing, they're certainly clapping. Yes. Slides into this one. Make sure that he sights the ball here and look a little lucky. Off the frame, the bottom part of the frame, <laughs> and it ends up being perfect. Over the head of Alex Domena. How many times in your life did you say, ah, good miss, <laughs> great miss? <laughs> That's a sweet yeah. reaction as well. Fritz is not the most. Fritz. Doesn't let it show too much on the court because that, in a moment, with a New York nightclub, you'd have the whole place in your pocket. Yeah. If Fritz were inclined that way. Just invite them in. Yeah. Come on. My end of the court. seen a return not executed well too often from Taylor Fritz tonight generally has been uh, thumping those returns getting Domena back on the on his back foot Vaguely remember now when the ball kids used to bring the towels to the players. Not sure we'll ever get back to that. No, I don't think so, man. Oh! Difference. Wow, and deep in the air. He's four deuces, but Fritz, the recipient of a double fault, has a double break. Winning the first set tiebreak. Fans just, just so appreciative again walking out of the grounds today to see it for a good 20, 30 minutes with people just going from court to court where they can. <laughs> Sitting out in the plaza and having a little food and bev when they can. Uh, on a balmy night like yes. it is last night as well, tonight, and uh, a bevy of tightly contested. Certainly the men's draw has been going on late in the day session. Fritz just clipping that sideline with the forehand. Oh, just not ready for that return coming back at him. Not getting the chance to load up with that right leg and lifting up as well. Fritz to 
four love. I have to say, Mark, this on the surprise Great meter, this is surprising. Four games yeah. to love. Very surprising. Second set. Certainly is when we consider the start of the match. Alex was looking very alert. But a lot of credit to Taylor Fritz. He's shaken off that tardy start and now is streaking ahead. A double break in this second set. They just showed a, a stat there before, Ted, with the unforced errors. Only two the difference. 24 now for Taylor Fritz, 22 for Alex Demina, but it's the winners that is uh, where the gap is starting to be created. Yes. 28. From uh, Taylor to Northern Australia. Solid numbers in that area. And, uh, the serve as well. Just letting Alex Deminar down. First serve in this set is below 40%, as is the win rate. Challenges. Maria Chichak in the chair. This is a, yeah. That's a good, that's a good caption. It's not like anything we've seen from in the long. The wheels come off like this yeah. in just the second set. And look, that, that ball was in such an uncomfortable area of the court. Short, but it's staying awfully low. You've got to go over the high part of the net. To see Fritz, if you talk about confidence, the swings he just took at that point, yes. just standing there and letting it rip. Well, well I mentioned earlier that Deminar up in Toronto a few weeks back lost 6 1 6 1 to Bazalashvili, and you know, the serve was off for Alex that day, and Bazalashvili was just pounding on the second serve. Much in the manner that yes. Taylor, that's a, another miss there, but it's still ominous signs for Domenar. Can't be feeling too good out there right now. It's certainly at the mercy of the American. of serve and in a moment we'll come back to the chance to bagel guy that's a top Great 20 five games to love second set and by one set to love 
United States, a wild card. And finished off Michael Emer in four sets. of the last tournament before the Open began, Winston-Salem. Oh. there to see the, uh, how close was it? Aces now for Francis, serving at 62%. Interestingly, less, less than 50 in the set. He's up 5 more. 15, to that return. Dimin up. Again, standing on that baseline, he generally takes a, a slight hop into the court, try and meet the ball. He just went laterally, didn't get to enough on it. Yes. Swing in a second serve. Probably that just the natural response of trying to overplay that, that return. Yeah, just getting all tied up. Oh! oh. <laughs> you hear for a second. He knew that was getting away from him as he was hitting it. Game's getting a little messy yeah. on the ends. Three doubles now for Fritz, two in the set. Oh. 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 And, 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 and fold, and he does get on the board in the set. Fritz leads five games to one. He's improved the set. spirits there of the uh, camp very much. Revisit our thoughts from an hour and a half or so ago when saying a guy that was coming out here proved that what had happened to him leading into the U.S. Open was something he could shake off. Oh. Oh. Not having a lot of success on the court, also having contracted COVID. of going to a tiebreak, but boy, this has been a lost set for Dean Moore, despite this little flicker here at the end. Yeah, it, it's, it, since he won the tournament at Eastbourne, the lead up to Wimbledon, it's been a very few wins. Ah! Just, and I, oh. No intent here to have any medical expertise at work, but it just... You used a great word. He came out with some spark. Demon Arn. You just don't see it. No, that, that spark has been I extinguished. And, and whether it's the, the combination of still trying to find his fitness, but also that pressure of defending quarterfinals. 
But whatever ingredients are there, or what's floating in the psyche of Alex de Mena, it's certainly not helping him uh, at the moment. Trying to reverse a trend, only winning one match since his second tour title at Eastbourne. really seeing the, the ball that uh, it was going to be on the shoelaces and instead of reaching out with the racket waiting for the ball to come in a little closer to his body yes. his mind here to pick up the set break serve maybe start serving first in set three yeah. has another opportunity I'm sure he might have back at the again these longer points Fritz is winning I'm sure in the second set he's won more given the score Sure, you thought yes. you'd see more from Demon R where he was inside the court controlling things. Alex de Mena. So that was a 95 mile per hour sliding serve wide to the first court. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. 
Fritz, they There's a lot of grinding. Two, second set, Demon Arn. Arn set actually, second. from Fritz, too, but Demon Arn won both games in that sequence to force Fritz to come back one more time to win the set. The second effort at closing out the second set. Take a, a swing at that modern day volley. <laughs> that was diplomatic, champ. <laughs> so often the, the, today's players, certainly on the men's game, with the, the extreme grips they have as they stripe, swing away on the forehand side, come forward. Usually, yeah. Change grips all that often. Digging it down to find a little something here at the end of the set. What looked to be quick and straightforward for Fritz is not. Well, the, the first serve uh, as well. We were talking about Domenas. Serve stats going south. And Fritz as well. Not landing enough first serves. He's below 50%, so traveling lower than the Australian in this set. Necessarily complicated. Well, he's leading the first serve. Fritz is only winning 50% of those points. Also, 50% behind the second serve. So, part of his game disappearing. Thirteen, fourteen. Just when he needs it, two first serves. Pulled out of the Fritz back. Yes, 127. You can see it there. 127 is seventh ace. Sign. I think that defining point for where a player stands, how they're feeling, 1540, able to draw upon three high quality first serves. Oh, 
in that first point there. Just feels like it's an inordinate number of those just rally balls that Demon Lauren has missed. Uh, a lot stronger in that rally. Just making sure that he stays around that baseline. Makes contact with that forehand inside the court. So it, it lessens the reaction time for Taylor Fritz. Maybe that's an area that he wants to expose. Taylor's movement. us the, the impression that uh, the ball got too close to his body and space himself for that backhand. Fritz. He does have great pickup skills, doesn't he? A half volley. It's off the toes. You can't even say that it was a half volley. It's like a quarter volley. Mm -hmm. first statement for him in the third set. Yeah, and the, the short ball from Demena just in, inviting Taylor to come forward. Much better when he's moving laterally, Taylor. The, the first few steps off the mark when he hits an approach shot. Seen that, that a few times tonight, but he just hasn't been able to get in tight enough to net. Speed by Alex Demina. Exceptional, both laterally and moving forward.
So plenty of height with the forehand. A miss hit from Taylor. Again, Alex not backing away, making sure that he keeps moving his feet, taking the ball early on the rise. thinking that uh, Domino was going to split to one corner. Just that slight opening now for the 14C. such a, a, a crucial point for the Australian and he just redlined that backhand just wondering whether you know, the choice of shot there might have been more apt to just at least try to get it into the corner ask one more question of Taylor Fritz an unforced error for the Australian To his credit, has, he was up really against the ropes and about to be knocked out. He's fighting back. Oh, yeah, but he's got to draw the line in the, yes. in the sand here. Yes. Yes. This is where the, he's got to start mounting the challenge. Opportunity. Very point in a second serve. Second delivery by Taylor Fritz. 108 Ooh, yeah. mile per hour serve. Catching Domino off guard. First serve from Taylor Fritz at saving the break point. That's going to be a frustration for Dimitar. He's now had 11 break points compared to two. Fine, 
certainly was, was getting overpowered in set two. Falling behind, love five. Set match that Demon R played it was here last year. And he had a good win. It was in the third round. He was down two sets to one. Came back to beat Hachinov. 6 1 in the fifth. Demon R has never come back from two sets down to win. Demina on what to, you know, if he's aware of how he wants to really play it. I mean, we're getting these moments of powerful whether ground shots, whether he's trading with Taylor. And then we've got moments where he's just, you know, keeping the ball into play, trying to elongate the points. Sure, whether it's a, a tactical move uh, with complete awareness by Alex, or whether it's just how he's feeling, like there's a, a burst of energy. Okay, I, I've got time to maybe try and increase the pace, but it's not really threading points together. Come on! Yeah. Oh, much needed first serve for the. 14th seed. Differently executed point. So we had to kind of some discombobulated tennis, a bit of everything. Total mix. attitude by Alex Deminar and how many matches that he has won with that attitude. Always compete, competing, asking the opponents to come out and beat him. Very rarely gives you a match. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Very good first set finish, winning a tie break. Just plowed easily until the very last through the second set. And after being up triple break, five love in the second set, Demonor had a little bit of life at the end of the second set, Mark, and it feels like that's carried into the third. Yeah, he, he, it seems like he's just starting to close the gap ever so slightly.
the advantage for the American is that two sets to lead buffer. Next you know, having come back from two sets to love down. Quarter finalist here last year. So Demonor defending Fritz third round last year lost a very good five setter to oh. Shapovalov. Pointer. They played three times, all hard courts. Demon are winning them all. Yes, and one of those victories for Alex I was in the final of Atlanta in 2019, and uh, watching that particular tournament, and Alex working his way through match after match. There was an emphasis on the serve. He was winning each round, getting a, a high percentage of first serves into play. There seemed to be a little more power, like he'd spent some concerted time working on that first serve. Here we go again. This began the last couple of games of the second set. Something Dumanar has had some looks in Fritz service games. This is his 12th break point. Dumanar's only converted two. Oh. Wow, but gets the gift. And a lead in the third set. New ball, please. Yeah, that was the, the third consecutive against Taylor Fritz serve that Alex had great points. Finally, picks up that early break here, 3 1 now. Probably three areas that we, we have been paying attention to, Ted, are that obviously the unforced errors, winners from both players, as well as the, the first serve. That gap starting to close a little for Alex and catch up in the winner department. To maybe five games in the match, he had that look from Fritz. He was looking over his box. And then things flipped, and near the end of that first set, he looked crazy calm. reactions from both players the return of serve from Taylor Alex doing a fine job as well picking up the return Second set on a similar play. 
four games, Frame two on third set. In the court. There he went two sets of waiting a bit more. Huh? Perhaps is a, a nod to uh, the level that he has put out in the first two sets. No, that's the case. It's still 79 degrees here at 11.15 in the evening. And the humidity is climbing because we are fairly certain to have a day of rain tomorrow. Oh. Fairly certain, meaning the forecasts are saying 100%. That's the hurricane uh, oh. aftermath. The Northeast. Ida wanting to say hi to us up here in this part of the U.S. Of course, tennis, 21st century tennis means there'll still be two stadiums in play, even if the forecasts oh. are true. Taking too much time in between points. Taylor back up to serve. Gutierrez looking a little more engaged. He was not, he was not feeling very good in the second set. Minna, not backing away, oh. finding the open court with the forehand up the line. And this is uh, becoming now something significant. That's. Seven of the Generally last nine games, games to one. won by Alex Stimenor. This match very much has the feel of going to a fourth set. is up to serve to winning that first point. The serve is starting to shine a little brighter for the Australian. Losing one point behind uh, a first serve in this set. Contrast to Fritz's first serve. Just starting to lose a, a bit of potency. Maybe some fatigue there as well. In this game, you can see this is a uh, just a blowout. This is yeah. This game's a, from Fritz. You can see it's let's get on to the fourth set. Yeah. So as 
Six games two sided as the second set was for Taylor Fritz. The same Fritz in the third for two sets to one. And reassert himself to close a match. Fritz's career record when he's up two sets to love is 10 and 0. That's a new reference to Minar has never won one. Big ten two sets. Well, I look, look at it. he's got to start off strongly here, Taylor Fritz. Steady the ship. We talked about the serve di starting to disappear. <laughs> Maybe just the level that he displayed in the first two sets just dropped off enough. Doing a, a much better job as well of directing his rally ball, just keeping it out of the center third of the court. Guys, thank you. Front rows. Thank you. Well, hopefully that puts an exclamation right, point first. on the, the serve yeah. for Taylor Fritz. That, that was five consecutive service games that Dimena had mm -hmm. break points. And, uh, there's uh, the, the stats that certainly show us mediocre serving. Look at the third. Look at that. Yeah. One winner in the third set for Fritz. One. Two stories yeah. uh, that we've seen. Those two sets very different from sets three. Fifteen. Just another one of those shots from the Australian's end of the court. Not sure that he needed to max out on that forehand.
Hawks more than oh. surrendering any Four ground seconds. on the baseline. To men up. Able to turn defense into uh, very quickly into offense. Strike me, Fritz. A big serve. Oh! He's put his first serve in. in this match winning 64%. It's not the number I would have thought. Come on. Oh! Doing nicely on his second serve. He's winning 52% Fritz in his match. For a big serve, that first would be higher. It needs to be up. A drop volley against Alex Demina. It has to be spot on. Maybe against eight out of ten players, that would have been a winning forehand volley. to begin this fourth set, which it's clearly would have every intention of making the last set. second serve, if possible. Thank you. Thank 
Set up at two all. <laughs> what I love about being here, you could hear that was a true New York fan. He has no rooting interest for a player, his only rooting interest is five cents. <laughs> center third of the court if he, if he struggles to find the corners the advantage will lie with Taylor Fritz Starts out feeling like the first set. Three games to two, full set, and by two sets to one. Five holds so far. Three from Dimitar, and again, that just might be enough for Taylor Fritz, and obviously the bonus of being up two sets to one. And serving now with new balls. Oh. delivered him five love in the second set. He could have.
Ted with a Fritz made a mistake. He was about mid-court after this backhand, and instead of trying to go forward, he backed away, played the forehand on the back foot, lost the weight of shot, and uh, ended up losing the point. serve for Fritz. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he jumped on the return. He's in great position. Yeah, excellent return, but a lot of credit to Taylor Fritz just to defend it back. Ball back into play. A wild forehand. Decision-making by Taylor Fritz. And it's the way forward for him. It's a, if victory is going to come to his end of the court, he's going to try and keep motoring through some of these ground strokes. He had it, and Demon Orkin, and then shit winning it. Good Red stuff. Legs, to play no break points for seven games. Seven. Nice level of tennis in his fourth set. His way back into this match. First set was this one. We've seen them playing at a good level together. Yeah, and that for, for Taylor, I think it's super key for him to keep accelerating through the rally ball. That's a, a tough first serve to return. But if he can get racket on some of the second serves, hit for the heavens. So a little higher for Domina that maybe if it did go into a, a fifth and final set that he might have some reserves. Just starting to have my doubt with Taylor that, that this fourth set is much more important. Oh. For him. Too often in the fourth, or even the third. The third set was uh, one way traffic for the Australian, but this was certainly dominating in the first mm -hmm. two sets. 
And now we uh, have reached this point where who's going to blink? Yeah. Four all, no three points yet. Yeah, a, a bit of belief from the number 14 seed end of the court that uh, he can push this into a, a fifth set. Once again. to land that first serve several times. He's been in trouble on service games and extracted himself out of a, a difficult situation behind the first serve. Oh. Doesn't want a fifth set. <laughs> he appears to be a Taylor Fox yeah, fan. He doesn't want to get to his feet. <laughs> Then by two sets to one. Oh! Now suddenly, this is a sudden death service game. Love 30, that means 
rather abruptly, this becomes uh, holder go home for Demonor. Off to a good start. Strong response there. First point might have been a, a little fortunate to have won. Taylor Fritz had a backhand from the centre third. Taylor Fritz when the, the, the rally's engaged in the middle of the court. He would have then moved Minar just a little wider into the doubles alley. two points from winning the match. Serve return, Fritz comes in, yes. tries to bang it, but then retreats. Yeah. I, and even on that shot there, gets a, some good depth, and he is quickly trying to recover back into the middle and probably overdoes the footwork and wrong footed by Demina. Back to Juice. Oh. Oh.
2021 has proven there's no doubt what's in the heart of Taylor Fritz. That's, that's not a question.